Well, hello everybody and welcome to Mini Buzz Adventures once again. This time we're at Big Brook Dam. So we're going to have a walk around and show you a few things. We didn't get many videos, but we've got lots of photos, so we'll make a nice little video for you to enjoy. Well, this video was meant to be a short drive for, to find somewhere for Jack to have a walk. And we turned around the corner and someone had put a dam in the way. So we decided we'd have a walk. Now this dam was built in 1986, so it's reasonably new, uh, to supplement the Pemberton town water and the local trout hatchery. There is a sandy beach area, great for swimming, but there's also a sealed four kilometre walk called the Big Brook Dam Walk Trail. Jeez, that's a mouthful follows the shore of the dam uh, and it's a nice stroll among the trees. Dogs can be taken but they must be on a leash and you must remember to pick up after them. Camping in the area is not allowed. Well, after walking what seemed like ages, Jack was getting a bit tired and so was I. Jack couldn't find any water but we managed to find some water for him to drink. We decided to head back to Mini and we're going to head out along the Cary Forest Explorer Drive and see what we can find. Apparently there's um, a nice, some nice springs and river crossings out that way. So we're going to head off out to the dirt track and take you for a ride. And oh, what fantastic places we found. Oh wow, after all that peace and quiet, seemed like a pity to get back on the road again, but we better head back. This should, if I've got my directions right, should he lead us back to the dam and back towards Pemberton on our way to be heading back towards Albany. I think this area is the Arboretum, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, where camping is allowed. It's the only place near the dam that you can actually stay over for a camping for a few days. Oh look, a sign. I love signs. Oops, was that say Pemberton? I didn't know where I was going all the time. Just making it a little bit more interesting. Be quiet Jack. Shut up Jack. Don't say anything. Don't tell them.
I'm pretty sure that this is all part of the Carry Forest Explorer Drive. It's a self-guided tour that starts off in town and winds its way around 86 kilometers of drive to certain stops to look at. You stop at the Big Book Dram where we've just been, climb 60 meters to the Gloucester Tree Lookout or out to Beetle Up Falls from the suspension bridge or just go bushwalking, fishing or just stop and have a wine or a coffee at many of the places along the track. Well, we're back on the black stuff and looks like we're heading back towards town. And now we just have to head through town on the Bass Highway, find the southwest highway, turn right and keep going until we get back to Walpole and on our journey home. There's a few places I'd like to stop on the way because once we get on the southwest highway before we get to Walpole, there's an old saw pit which I haven't seen for a long, long time. So we're gonna pop in there and have a look. And so, as if by magic, here we are at the Beetle Up Saw Pit. This is said to be very, very old, been here for a long time. Stop the video and have a read of the notice if you like but I'm going to pop in a video with a bit more detail. Unfortunately, it's raining at the moment, but the GoPro's waterproof, so what the hell. So this is the Rest Point Saw Pit in Beetle Up, and the pit is partially filled in, so it would have been originally deeper, and the sower would have stood on the top and the bottom sower was obviously underneath and the sower would have been pulled and pushed by each person until the log was split in half and carry timber is very 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 hard so you need a very sharp saw or two very strong men I love this kind of weather for photography and videography, but I hate it for Jack. Jack's only got little short legs, and he runs pretty quick. He flicks a lot of mud up onto his belly. So somebody's got to rub his belly when we get back to the bars. And it always happens to be me that gets covered in mud. <laughs> where is he anyway? Jack, Jack, where are ya? You definitely wouldn't want to be the guy on the bottom. You sure would be itchy by the end of the day, though, all that sawdust. Come on, Jack, get in the bus quick. It's raining. <laughs> the door's locked, so it's a good job I brought my keys. Come on, quick. Before you get to be a smelly dog. Oh, what a night. This is early the next morning, no coffee yet. We stayed here last night and it just rained and rained and rained. I haven't got much information on this and I've searched the internet, can't find much. But we definitely will come back again and have a look. But last time I was here it had been burnt out by a bushfire. So there's not much left, there was little huts and park up areas here. By the look of this here, I think it's turned into a flat earth worshipping site. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. This is the, it's a topographical 3D image of the area here with Broken Inlet and Walpole. I can't read what that says. I'm going to have to come back another time and have a look. And by the magic of computer graphics, the Shannon and River Basin and Broken Inlet Catchment Scale 1 to 5000 Vertical Exaggeration 15 times Linear Scale Hope that helps everybody So I'm not sure about Jack but I'm pretty tired didn't get much sleep so we're going to call this the end of the video 
and we're going to head to Walpole, get something nice for breakfast, and then we're going to drive straight through back home to Albany. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's been a bit of a hit and miss and mixture of things, but we'll uh, try to keep up with some new videos and new material as soon as possible. So thank you all very much, and remember the usual thing, like, subscribe, and please leave uh, messages, likes or dislikes. And remember to ring that bell so you get notifications when new videos arrive. Thank you very much. Bye everybody.